Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure review we're going to be looking at the Studio Series 86 Core Class Ironhide figure. So we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at the accessories that come with him and how you can use him in both modes. And then we'll of course do some comparisons with him, the original owner of this mould, some other Core Class figures that have been released under the main generation's toy line. In fact, another version of him in exactly the same toy line and of course because he's Ironhide we've got to have a quick look at him compared to his original generation one self so as you can see quite a bit to get through with this video so as I start to pop all these away I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if I'd hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and the other thing I need to do is thank Robot Recruits because that's the online store in the UK that I purchased this from. And as you can see, they got him out to me nice and safely. Right, now the alternate mode, which we're going to start in, is, I suppose, as basic as, they, as they're going to come. Uh, there's a lot of gaps, there's a lot of panels on the side, and there's a bit of an unsightly ball and socket joint there for the shoulder. But I don't really know anybody, and please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, if you're going to be displaying this in alternate mode. It does hold together pretty well, to be honest. It's just a little bit temperamental at the moment, shall we say? But usually, that's better, it does. The wheels, as you can see, are completely independent. They do go around, it does move backwards and forwards. We've got these cutouts either side um, of the van where we can attach the little guns, to be honest. And there's a slight retool to this, obviously, because it doesn't have the emergency uh, light, which ratchet had on the top of his roof so this one's just got a flat part there uh, consider it's a brilliant homage to this it's as you can see it's much much smaller um let's have a quick look there's not really much much else to say about this particular uh mode the backdrop is which we can use more in a second it's not a proper like stand which you get with normal studio series figures it is of course a scene from on the autobot shuttle but so you can sort of use it instructions come with it as well and on the actual box itself that's pretty much got to be new artwork of him unless it's heavily um remastered footage from the movie and then the same on this side there's some actual footage not footage stock images of the toy we see in front of us there's really not much more to say about the alternate as i say if you want to have a look at how he disposed displays with some of the other core class figures that have been released um in this pretty much in the same and different toy lines he scales reasonable in the alternate uh but much better as you'll see now when we put him into his robot mode. So I am going to do a full transformation process for any parents or for anybody who's got kids who want to learn how to do just the transformation. It's going to be separately loaded. I'm just going to take him to robot now. We're going to fold these side panels out, which is, of course, going to reveal the legs, separate these and then fold them back on themselves. Once you've done that, we can take the whole of this waist part, bring it down, then bring the legs down as well, in honesty. What this means we can do now is separate the forearms, bring these out to the side. What we need to do is turn this around 180 degrees, bring the back tab down, bring the front forward, bring the head out. So again, for a core class figure and for a main line core class figure, the transformation process is a little, it's not complex, but there's quite a bit to it. Turn this up till you can see the grey. Bring this down and turn the orientation around till you've got the fist facing forward. We then need to rotate these around here oh turn the legs around like so so you've got the wheels on the outside same principle for this turn to the gray slide it down turn that way so the reason why i was saying that is because obviously there's legend scale um third party companies which have got you know 30 step transformation processes but again as i always say and especially now i'm reviewing them we're going to come to that in a second i just want to very quickly show you this it sort of works if you can put up with the holes but not really, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, what I was saying is, obviously, if we bring in something like one of these new age figures, which is far more articulate. But again, you, you're paying a lot more for this. Same with the Magic Square. I'm just doing this for comparisons, for sizes for you guys. And indeed, Iron Factory. So they're all a little bit bigger. They're obviously a lot more articulate, a lot more detailed. But they're four times the price of this guy. So I think the purpose and the point of releasing these is exactly that. You know, smaller budget, um, easy, you know, to transform figures. I think that's the exact reason for this. But this 
as a standalone normal core class figure, as I'm sure you'll agree, he does look good. He has, I've already shown you the difference on the roof, but he's also got a different midsection and of course a different um, head. So you see that's just got the diamond on it that didn't have. So they are slightly different, to be honest, uh, but they look good. So I'm pretty sure now that we're obviously going to get a Voyager class scale version of him as well that we have there. Now, of course, these are completely different, even though this is probably only to look size. It's priced at a Voyager price point due to his transformation. Uh, this guy was classed as a deluxe, strangely enough. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can see. He's much, much bigger. Let's bring in uh, the original. We've got to bring the original in. He's not much smaller than the original, is he looking at that? Not at all, to be honest. Uh, I know loads of people are going, what? <laughs> but yeah, there's his head through there in the original. Um, right, last few things to show you with this. Um, and that's purely because I can see them releasing so, so many core class figures. Like even though this guy's already had a release, so's obviously prime so sound what sorry starscream etc and maybe even to some extent grimlock i can still see all of these getting repackaged in the studio series 86 boxes and again completing the core class lineup for all of these figures as well because they're exactly that they're I suppose they're near enough pocket money toys but on the same hand they're highly um i say highly they're very detailed for what you're paying and indeed, you know, quite articulate, so you can really get a good display going with them. In all honesty, though, there is really not much more to say about this particular figure, especially not if you've seen Ratchet already. He does look good. He displays really well. He's a good bit of fun. I suppose he could also be used as a desk bot for anybody who's old enough <laughs> who can take their figures into work because he's quite fun and playable like that. But that's pretty much, as I say, all I'm going to be saying about him. Full little transformation video is going to be separately uploaded if that wants, if you need that for help as well. In the meantime, though, hope you enjoyed looking at him. Take care.